Welcome to QTM Talks. This is Ali Gabriel from Qatar Travel Mart Exhibition. As news of borders fully reopening and countries welcoming international tourists again, we want to know what the safety protocols in place are for travelers and what is the role of travel agencies in properly actually communicating these messages. Today, we would love to welcome Mr. Firoz Natu, General Manager of Musafir Travel and Tourism, to discuss the current preparations, also tips and advices for travel agency sector for easy and safe travel. Good morning, Mr. Firoz. How are you today? Good morning. Good morning. Thank you very much. I'm fine. Mr. Firoz, first of all, please tell us more about Musafir Travel and Tourism. Well, Musafir Travel is not a travel agency. Yes, in terms of business, you can associate with that. But we would like to call us as more as travel advisors or your travel partner who considers you as our own family. Okay. Musafir Travel is a division of Abu Isa Holding under the guidance of uh, Mr. Ashraf Abu Isa and Mr. Nabil Abu Isa. Musafir Travel has two important wings. The one is gomusafir.com. The first online travel agency in Qatar. It's a classified, most advanced and sophisticated online travel portal. Gomusaf recently awarded as Digital Transformation of the Year 2018 from the Ministry of Communication and Transportation. The technology, price, and our 24-7 unique support is the key of our online success mantra. We never closed our office during the pandemic. Rather, we were working extra hours so that we could manage all our fellow Muzaffar booking or passengers and their cancellations. We are still top choice of Qatar for the repatriation flights and all the credit goes to our team of back office who really dedicated themselves to assist our valuable customers. Also, also we uh, chartered a flight to India for the repatriation passengers and we took 182 passengers to their loved ones. On the other hand, our offline wing, Musafir Travel Retail Outlet, where we really believe that every customer that walks into our office, that's like in a family members because they have trusted us with their valuable time for the past 10 years. So it is our duty to make sure everything is as they want it. Because our interiors, the office interiors also we designed because we eliminated the so-called uh, counter type of sales. And uh, we, we set up a living room where we will accept the people with a warm and open hearted to listen them very carefully. Through our retail operation, we serve all scheduled flights, private jet, low-cost carriers, hotels, car rental, transportation company, visa assistance, international driving license, airport assistance, and the inter-travel logistics in the travel ecosystem. Similarly, we have a strong inbound ground handling team who welcomes all visitors, those who are coming into Qatar. We are a team of dreamers with our feet on the ground and our heads on the sky. Travel is not just our passion, but also our driving spirit. That is why when you walk into our indoors, you feel the sense of belongings. You are not just a customer to us. You are our fellow adventurers. We want to help you to travel the world just the way you want it. Amazing. What countries can you suggest to residents of Qatar who are planning to go on a holiday once restrictions completely ease? Interesting question, and this question is everybody is waiting, you know. Yeah. I would recommend somewhere you would choose less COVID affected areas, okay. or less crowd, uh, or find out some pure virgin natural places, okay. or where, where very less traveled, you know, and isolated islands. This okay. is a time to explore it, you know, because we have no reasons earlier, because our people are always follows the the, the cities or you, you know the cosmopolitan cities under the limelight like people wish to go to Las Vegas or uh, uh, or, or, or Champs Elysees in Paris or Oxford Street in uh, in London yeah. you know somewhere now the people thinking 
earlier that people like to go be, be there in, uh, you know, Istiklal Street in uh, Istanbul or uh, Shara Arab, you know, Arab Street. Yeah. Uh, you know, this is what people, but now people choose something where very unique and very natural because we are covered, you know, the, the, the pandemic and the, the current situation is took all our freedom because you are able to take a deep breath open on the top of a mountain where the mist, where the rain, you know, you, you lose everything because you are forced to cover. So choose a place where you are on top of a mountain where the pure air, because pure air, pure water is your fundamental right as a citizen. Amazing. Now, so, so what I recommend, see, for example, Trabzon, it is in the part of uh, Istanbul. Normally, the people are going to Turkey, which yeah. landing in Istanbul, then they are moving into the different place because Istanbul is a crowded city. I'm not saying don't go to Istanbul, but yeah. as a leisure, you're, you're taking a break with your family. I recommend now Qatar Airways has already started direct flights to some places like mm -hmm. Malta, for example, mm -hmm. or, mm -hmm. uh, or, or trap zone. So when you enter into the tram zone, you are in the middle of green, you know, mm. fresh air and everything and not much crowded and not much COVID affected area. So this is one of the areas where I can recommend. And similarly, Maldives, Maldives, you know that every island has in a resort. So you have direct access to the resorts where you are safe, you free, explore the, all the sea activities and uh, fishing and whatever you like with water. Yeah. And uh, similarly, uh, Vietnam, which we are, uh, we cannot ignore, you know, because Vietnam is in a real essence of Asia, you know, the culture, the people, and it's very cheap and the good quality. Uh, and similarly, uh, uh, Scandinavian countries, yeah, okay. uh, and Sweden, Denmark, and all, yeah. Yeah. which will be considerable because normally our people Traditionally, they like always to Switzerland, Paris, London, Germany. Yeah. That's there. That's there. But this is the time to take in a break or a change and see that how Malta, Greece, Croatia, Slovenia, because Slovenia is the yeah. first country to open their border. You know, it's a beautiful place. It's the down south of the Alps. And a um, little bit far, we could consider Australia or New Zealand, including yeah. Fiji Island. Fiji, Fiji is another uh, hotspot now. And yeah. if you go to the CIS part, Bulgaria, we have a city called Varna. You know, yeah. Turkish Airlines yeah. is flying, a beautiful place, which less crowded, and you will be really, really uh, enjoy. And talk about other countries like Portugal, and in India, there is a state called Kerala, who has a very less affected, and the management, the, how they manage the pandemic situation is, uh, well known. I mean, all the international media was talking about that they well managed and Goa in India also considerable. So these are the, I mean, uh, apart from the US and typical European cities, probably people can think about it and they tell them to take a fresh breath Amazing. without mask. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Mr. Firoz, do you think uh, uh, the health and safety guidelines by governmental bodies could bring back the confidence of tourists towards um, like traveling again? Absolutely, yes. The safety precautions announced by various countries will definitely boost the confidence of travelers and will enhance tourism to a larger extent. Travel is a necessary part of human life and tourism industry will be the first to recover after the current global heat pandemic because this industry is the first hit that industry of the, when the pandemic started, but when it's rebound, things will be rebound. The travel is the first one to wake up. Indeed. Well, uh, the, the precautions and uh, the safety measures taken by the various government as per the international standard definitely boost the confidence of the travelers. See, for example, when you start traveling now, by the moment you are buying a ticket, for example, all our Musafir travel, those who are coming into our offices, we are giving the ticket along with the PPE kit. Maybe we are the only first travel agency selling a kit along with the ticket. That means the moment you purchase the ticket, your safety is begin. Then you are going to the airport. You know that our Doha airport is amazingly uh, managing uh, the hygiene part. 
uh, social distancing and you enter to the aircraft like you are entering into a fresh room because everything sealed, sanitized, sanitized, cleaned. So you will get more confident mm -hmm. because, you know, the, the scariness and uh, the, the fear of the virus is already because we used to be part of the coronavirus instead of keep away, be with them and yeah. be safe. You know, we cannot, we cannot hide in the cave for a long time because the industry, economy, the people, the, the human being, human race is to act, not to hide. You know, mm -hmm. so we have to come back into our position, but certainly, obviously, as per the protocol. Now, after you entering into the aircraft, you landed a country, like for example, Turkey, they took an amazing uh, initiatives. You have a test, a rapid test at the airport. Within 15 minutes, you know that whether you are infected or not, mm -hmm. then once it's clear, the negative, you are free to take any cars. If you are, uh, when you are entering into your car, you open the door, you know there is a seal that's sanitized. You mm -hmm. got confident, right? And when mm -hmm. you enter into the hotel lobby, you know that is sanitized and they are completely, your the whole body is sanitizing, reaching, entering into the hotel room, open the door, you see a seal again, you know, sanitized on yeah. your wardrobes, wardrobes or the bed linen, everything is there. That will definitely makes you more confident. Indeed. So uh, the, the government taking these kind of, uh, you know, measurements, yeah. no doubt, going to be, uh, it's going to be definitely boost the confidence of the travelers. Indeed. Indeed. Uh, what value do you see in Qatar Travel Mart uh, to the travel and tourism industry? Well, I would like to first to appreciate you and your people, those who have worked behind it, because this is a long awaited event or an, a, you know, a coordination, uh, which uh, it's a collective effort to bring uh, Qatar as an international tourism destination. It's not only as a destination, because you people, it's, it's, all, it's a great opportunity to promote and enhance the competitiveness of Qatar tourism industry. Mm. Obviously, Q QTM brings together inbound and outbound tour operators by developing a market for shared relationship between local and international tourism. And you people are bringing various international tourism boards, the national and regional tourist offices, airlines, tour operators, hoteliers, travel agents, and online travel companies. You bring all the people, those who are working in the center ecosystem. Also, Qatar Travel Mart helps the tourism companies to closely work with their partners. Say, for example, as a, as a tour organizer or travel advisor, it's, it's an, a great opportunity to listen to the clients, you know, how they're thinking. You know, because human behaviorism is changing based on the situations. So this is a great potential opportunity to listen what the people are thinking. Then we could prepare ourselves accordingly because, you know, we need to give in a product which exactly suits for the customer. So we are able to understand the pulse of local market and prepare the itineraries based on that. Hence, the market will elevate the confidence and the industry experts can uh, enhance their knowledge base, obviously, and uh, moreover, it's it's a great opportunity for the Qatari people, those who are seeking for an uh, international travel. You know, because there are a lot of new destinations, new changes in the travel areas. So this is a great opportunity. And in terms of a visitor, I'm saying that, you know, this is this is long waited opportunity. And uh, for 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 in the business terms, you know. This is great thing. You know, uh, Gabriel, one thing is very clear. You have thousands of suppliers online. You know, internet is a variety of things. Mm -hmm. But you cannot trust. If I, you know, when I'm going for in a country which I'm not familiar, what I want, I value the relationship. Mm -hmm. Trustworthiness. So a person who comes to welcome me, which I know, maybe internet introduced me ABC, which is not familiar to me. You know, I don't know that how it's going to be. Sure. So the people which I know, he welcomes like in a family member, you know, definitely. So you guys are doing a wonderful job because you're bringing the right people and a big salute for such kind of uh, initiatives. Thank you so much for this insight. What can you advise our local tra travelers who are planning their trip? Uh, of course, once uh, restrictions are fully lifted. 
well that's everyone is waiting and interesting question see we are entering into a new normal we could say that more into minimalism you know the people are uh, probably not very spent thrift on these situations you know probably not much very luxury but end of the day he want happiness you know they are mo turning more in back to the nature and the loved ones so the first thing most of the people who stranded they must be thinking about their back home their loved ones you know uh, or the people who are in 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 country in the country he want to escape who want to take a break from all the stress and everything yeah this is the time to think about it uh, i personally recommend uh, you will have hundreds of answers on the internet internet in the sense it's a machine you know but i would recommend to go and meet a travel agent because i don't know how many people noticed during this uh, uh, crisis all the online companies are suspended their operation either they disconnected the telephone number Yeah. I know very popular online travel agencies, which they are not even taking the calls. When you open the website, they say that very simple way: we are overwhelmed with the calls, mm -hmm. we are exhausted with the calls and requests. So please send an email. You know, this is kind of escapism. Honestly, yeah. you look, your travel agent, your neighbor, he's still there. He still opened the door. Now, like Musafir, Musafir never closed. you look at the people who took it, the big i don't want to tell the names the big people online which has never supported the people because they have large volumes so mm. i personally recommend to to go for your nearest travel agent who understand and this is uh, and he knows that what is the travel regulation that is another important thing when you after this situation you know when the countries and airports are open important thing is that you have to take a lot of changes happens in the rule obviously you know that so uh, what is the visa regulations and the travel regulations and lot of things are there which the travel agent constantly update so what uh, we like musafir travel are spend our time the whole time war, was um, you know sharpening our knowledges coordinating with the uh, board government authorities you know what is the all the new things so yeah. i would recommend to go for um, uh, kind of contact with the travel agent get all the informations properly and what are the protocols and guidelines of the travel because into the new situations and accommodation should be selected as per the safety standards and hygiene because you know we will have lot of options the flights or hotel our priority is that which flight is more safe which hotel is more hygiene you know so you choose that one depends on that and uh, even it is little bit expensive you know because earlier people are going the lowest one taking it two stops yeah. instead of that you know they want to be go okay little bit expensive but go for direct reach your destination without any, any hassles and self protective equipments as your safety is important and you know okay your uh, suppliers or service providers probably preparing themselves but still i recommend you do your personal protections yourself and uh, you 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 save yourself and uh, that's all and uh, wish everybody a safe and healthy travel experience amazing amazing and now we have come to an end of our uh, interview thank you mr firoz it's a pleasure having you with us today of course and our gratitude for being very informative do you have anything uh, else to add to our interview uh thank you uh, it's a great pleasure to me to give us an opportunity to open up and obviously these uh, uh, initiatives will enhance the people's travel habit and uh, the scaredness the fearness and everything will be away end of the day the world is waiting indeed 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 to all our audience thank you for joining us today and see you next time Oh, 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 oh,